Little kids over the Let all cats old enough to get their own prey gather here beneath the high rock. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Me, Ding! Me, you, I'm Simon. And I'm Evelyn! Today, we are going to be discussing Into the Wild, chapters 12 and 13. As always, our spoiler policy is spoilers are fun. Follow up. Oh, we were gonna see if the poll got significantly more responses. Mm. Let's see. It's been a while since we last recorded. Oh wait. Okay. So there's ten responses now. What was it before? I don't know. Maybe like seven or something. I can't remember. Hmm. And oh, Maybe, Marug. Is, so wait. Marug is the favorite. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Garoff and Ria Wow are tied for the second favorite. And then we have Yao back down to fourth now. Mm. That's more like it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Then we have Pa, Garar, and Morau in last. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. much more reasonable. For sure. And I also um, found something in fandom news for today. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> well, I guess, like, I say fandom news, but... We're the only ones in the fandom talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I have a major Murg moment. A major what moment? That's right. Not Murug. Murg. <laughs> Spelled M-U-R-G-H or just M-U-R-G. From Persian. Indian cookery. Chicken. <laughs> so yeah, that is what Murug is. But Murg. So I feel like, so I guess Murg... M-U-R-G-H is how it's usually spelled. Because sometimes, you know, we saw it spelled like M-U-R-U... Wait. Yeah, M-U-R-U-G. Like Murug, but without the H. Yeah. So, and then obviously we have it with the H sometimes. So it's six letters. And then we have M-U-R-G-H and also M-U-R-G, so... I guess it's all the same. Yeah. Pretty much every... Yeah, it's definitely chicken. It just means chicken, yeah. What does this thing say? Oh, yeah, it just says the same thing, basically. Alternative forms, Merg, without the H, from Persian. This says, in Indian cooking, chicken. Again. From Urdu, Merg. From Persian, Merg, bird, fowl. <laughs> <laughs> Merg Musalan, whole chicken. Is a Mughalai dish or originating from the Indian subcontinent. Consists of a whole chicken marinated in ginger garlic paste, stuffed with boiled eggs, and seasoned <laughs> with spices like saffron, cinnamon, cloves, poppy seeds, cardamom, and chili. It's cooked dry or in sauce and decorated with almonds and silver leaves. What is a silver Look leaf? at it. It's silver. There is silver. It's just silver. Like the mineral. <laughs> I, what? <laughs> Look at those boiled eggs. <laughs> I don't even eat chicken or eggs, because eggs are gross to me. The eggs look bad, but the rest of it looks good. Especially the rice there. Yeah, the rice looks good. Like how there's like a the lemon slice looks thing. good. Mm, yeah. Anyways, the free dictionary says this about Merg. A common domesticated fowl. Why chicken. You... <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, these are just definitions for chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so case definitively closed, I would say. We figured it out. You figured it out. <laughs> yeah. I just had, like, I don't know why, but I was I was doing something completely different, unrelated to warriors and chicken. But I just had this urge to um, Google Translate the word Murag. Oh. That's how I discovered all this. And I was wondering how you would find that tidbit of information. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess it's time just to get into Chapter 12. Read the summary. Okay. It's the gathering. Wind Clan isn't there. Ravenpaw tells a different story than Tigerclaw did about what happened at the Sunning Rocks battle. Broken Star, Shadow Clan's new leader, has two pieces of news. He drove Wind Clan from the territory in order to hunt there and threatens to do the same to the other clans. And he warns that Yellow Fang is bad. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I didn't have very many notes for these two chapters, but they were mm-hmm. still pretty good chapters. I agree, yeah, totally. We start off with ThunderClan, like, peering down from above four trees onto four trees. And I just have to say, first off, that I love four trees as a setting. Mm, me too. There's just, like, four huge oaks, and then in the center of the clearing there, a large jagged rock. What could be better? Do you think? They're like, look at all the cats down there. There's Crooked Star, even. That's amazing. Ah, Crooked Star! (laughs) (laughs) He's there at the gathering! Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then we have this passage. Something alarming and shocking from Sandpaw. Very unbecoming of a female cat. (laughs) Hey, mute Graypaw. Did you see Sandpaw spit when I told her I hope she had a nice evening at home? I believe she spat. <laughs> Did was she like like actually like like fitting spit onto the ground or what do you think? Oh no. Because it, it could spit. just mean like I don't know what it means. It's very unbecoming of a cat to do. <laughs> regardless of whether she's a lady cat. Well, yeah. Well, you don't like spitting, right? I don't like spitting. It's weird, like why do people spit? <laughs> That's not even what spitting is. It's like no, I know. smacking. No, I'm just saying, like, there's so much there's, like, spit in your mouth. I know. Yeah. Wait, right, moving on, moving on. Look, there's Broken Star, Shadow Clan's leader. His fur was unusually long, and his face was broad and flattened. Sounds a lot like Yellow Fang to me. Oh, wow, it does, yeah. I did not even pick up on that. Yeah. That's like exactly like Yellow Fang. Yeah. The clues were really there. I didn't even notice the clues at all until I, like, you know, now that I know. Yeah. Huh. And there was also a stillness in the way he sat and stared around him that made Firepaw's fur prickle uncomfortably. He's a villain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Firepaw asks what the leader of Wind Clan looks like. Tallstar? I've never seen him, but I know he's black and white with a very long tail. <laughs> That's what Graypaw said. I just love that Tallstar has a very long tail. <laughs> That's why he was called Tall Tail. Tall Tail. But that's not what it should be called Long Tail. Uh, <laughs> Tails you, aren't tall. You can't have two. Oh, <laughs> well, he was called Tall Kit. So. <laughs> There's no going back. <laughs> Maybe long he just has kit. long limbs and tail. Maybe a long tail's also a snake. Wow. And it's so tall star and white star ran long. Yeah, probably. Wow. I'm just saying. Thought you were gonna say maybe they're related. Oh, maybe they are. I don't know. I don't know either. Could be true. But of course. We don't actually get to see Tallstar, because Windclan isn't even there. Where are they? Yeah. Mm. But what if they don't turn up at all, Mute Graypaw? That's what happened. They didn't turn up at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that question doesn't even get answered. <laughs> but also, Lionheart says the Windclan cats may just be late, but Thunderclan's not there yet either. They're oh, still yeah. just, like, watching they from never... above. Well, that was weird, yeah. I they never usually I never remember them like waiting before going to the gathering. Like why are they just watching the gathering yeah. not there? They're late. If Wing Clan's late, Thunder Clan's also late. They were Thunder Clan was the last clan to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if every clan every time is just sitting there waiting? <laughs> the other clans and then nobody ever comes down. This like they're all looking at four trees. Yeah. No one's there. Go in, guys. Like, come on. <laughs> but then finally, Blue Star beckons all the cats, and they all like go in. They see Blackfoot, the Shadow Clan deputy, and Graypaw's name is Savel Graypaw. <laughs> <laughs> it must be Blackfoot. Mute Graypaw. Shadow Clan's new deputy. Wow. I remember that from the list of mistakes that we saw on the wiki. Oh, I did not. Yeah. 
Brew Boss. There it is. That's so silly. When does the meeting begin? Wait, no. When does the meeting begin? Ravenpaw asks Whitestorm. And then Whitestorm says, Be patient, Ravenpaw. The sky is clear tonight, so we have plenty of time. If you don't know this already, the sky has to be clear, because if there's a cloud that goes over the moon, the gathering is over. Canceled. It's just canceled. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Because Star Clan is angry, so they send clouds to go over the moon. So you stop fighting. But what if a cloud goes over the moon and they're talking about something mundane? That wouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so what if it happened? Then they would go home. <laughs> <laughs> then Lionheart leaned over and added, We warriors like to spend a little time boasting about our victories, while the elders swap tales about the ancient days before the two legs came here. <laughs> How old are these elders? Yeah, like, jeez. This is England. Like, it's been settled for a long time. <laughs> Maybe they just mean the two legs. Like, at two-leg place. At Shelford, yeah. I, guess. I mean, Sky Clan got kicked out by two legs. That was ages ago. Yeah, but how many ages? Probably. What if it was just, like, two ages ago? Probably several generations. What's well, even an age? An age is how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, maybe the clans really have been around for thousands of years, because... You know, Tiger Clan, Leopard Clan, Lion Clan. They were around, but then the cats got smaller. How did that happen? All their mm -hmm. descendants were regular house cats. <laughs> that size. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. I don't even know how they know what lions, tigers, and leopards are. Yeah, well, maybe the clans are... Thousands of years old, and there used to be those animals living in England, or maybe they migrated. I don't know. Hmm. I don't think either of those things are true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Firepaw is listening in on Tigerclaw, who's um, speaking about the battle against the River Clan hunting party that just happened. He's boasting and stuff. So, that's not what I want to mention. Firepaw listened politely to the end of the story, but a familiar scent was distracting him. As soon as Tigerclaw had finished speaking, Firepaw turned and crept away towards the sweet smell that was coming from a group of cats nearby. Who could it be? It's Spotted Leaf. <laughs> Again with the sweet smell. Why is she sweet? Why does she smell sweet? Yeah. <laughs> Sitting opposite beside Graypaw, beside two Riverland Toms, was Spotted Leaf. Mm -hmm. Firepaw glanced at her shyly. <laughs> Oh, and then um, Running Nose is pointed out. <laughs> I love Running Nose. <laughs> right? I can see why they call him Running Nose, Fire Poppy Mark. The medicine cat's nose was wet at the tip and encrusted <laughs> around the <laughs> edges. Encrusted. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I don't want to uh, give Running Nose too much flack, though, because humans can't even cure the cold either. Yeah. Like, come on here. Like, people get cold. But he always has one. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Yeah, why is he... He's like Maggie Tom. Yeah, he is like Maggie Tom. Maggie Tom was like what we thought was a kitten who, like, appeared one day at our place. He was actually like two or three, apparently. He was just really small. Yeah, and he'd eat vegetables and run in front of cars. Like, as we were driving up the driveway. <laughs> and it was really annoying. But he was friendly sometimes. Yeah, he was very friendly. <laughs> Running Nose was telling, telling the cats about a herb. <laughs> a herb. <laughs> a herb. An herb. A herb. I a guess herb. It, I just forgot the England thing. They, were like, really say the H. Yeah, that's so funny. A herb. A herb. Herb, herb, herb. <laughs> Since the two legs came and filled the place with hard earth and strange flowers, he complained in a high-pitched yowl. This is running nose. 
the herb has disappeared and kittens die needlessly in cold weather. The cats gathered around to me yowled their disapproval. <laughs> they're all like, they're just a bunch of cats yowling. They just react that way. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Yowl and yowl also. Also, what what kitten cough is this? Because yeah. they never had. I never heard about anyone getting kitten cough. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But okay. Kittens die needlessly in cold weather. Oh, it also says kittens and not kits. That's interesting. Hmm. Another example of that. A lot to pick out of this passage. Yes. And then somebody's like, it never would have happened at the time of the great clan cast. Which is true, because those cats could just like, kill humans. They're huge. And they would. They would have eaten all the humans. Yeah. Were there ever lions and tigers in Great Britain? Where? <laughs> so I guess sometimes people do cite big cats in Britain, but it's not like they're... I'm not seeing anything about, like, a historic population of big cats. But also, I'm not looking too hard. It, I guess they just know this legend. Yeah, just general knowledge. And there's three clans of big cats. Tiger Clan, Lion Clan, and what's the last one? I cannot remember. Is it Spotty Clan? <laughs> Great paw. Spotty Clan. And then I suspect you're thinking of a Leopard Clan, young Grey Paw. <laughs> he had a voice from behind them, which is, of course, Lionheart. He always calls Grey Paw young Grey Paw. Like, is Lionheart even that old? Act your age. I don't know how old Lionheart is. Yeah, well, he's not an elder, I guess. He's a senior warrior. He is. Spotted Leap also makes the astute assertion that if Tiger Clan still roam these forests, we would hardly have made our territory here either. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Just, I mean, just look at what happened in the mountains. A sharp tooth. Sharp tooth? He has sharp tooth. Yeah. Because Sharp Claw is a Sky Clan warrior. Oh. <laughs> sharp tooth. Okay, okay. There they are in the gathering. What happens next? What happens yeah, what happens next? next? Um, ooh, here we go. They're talking to a Shadow Clan apprentice. Yeah. He's really little, like Maggie Tom. Rather small for six moons, Lionheart murmured. His tone was gentle, but his gaze was searching and furious. Hmm. How many moons are you? The tabby stared awkwardly down at the ground. This is six moons, he stammered, not meeting Lionheart's eye. Ugh, I hate having to read, like, out loud when cats are stammering. Yeah. We talked about this before, too. Oh, okay. It's a raven paw, probably. Mm, yeah. yeah. But he's like, my mother was small, too, and then backs away. Nervously. Hmm. He's not six moons. He's not six moons. He's a kitten. <laughs> this is a wee little kitten. Yeah. Then they go and they find Ravenpaw, who's in the middle of a group of apprentices, who are clamoring for him to tell them about the Battle of the River Clan. So he's like shy about it, and then he like sees his friends, and then he gets encouraged, and, and then he starts reading it. He says, "Fur was flying everywhere. Blood spattered the leaves on the bramble bushes." Bright red against green. I just fought off a huge warrior and sent him squealing into the bushes when the ground shook and I heard a warrior scream. It was Oakheart. Redtail raced past me, his mouth dripping blood and his fur torn. Oakheart is dead, he howled. Then he rushed off to help Tigerclaw as he fought another warrior. Yeah. Then we have. But Firepaw was thinking of something else. What was it Ravenpaw had said? That Redtail had killed Oakheart. But according to Tigerclaw, Oakheart had killed Redtail. And he, Tigerclaw, had killed Oakheart in revenge. Uh, mm. Okay. Then, like, Fireheart, or no, Firepaw hits to Graypaw. Redtail killed Oakheart. Who killed Redtail? But Graypaw. He's like, oh, who did what? He's only half listening to Firepaw. 
<laughs> Firefox shook his head to clear it. Ravenfall must have been mistaken, he thought. He must have meant Tiger Claw. That's not what he meant. That's not what he meant. But then what happens? Fire Ravenpaw finishes his story, and Firepaw notices out of the corner of his eye that Tiger Claw is like standing nearby and watching Ravenpaw with an iron stare. <laughs> A look of horror and then fury crept over the warrior's face. Yeah. Right. Tiger Claw is furious. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot. It does. Anyways, what happens next is there's a big loud yowl. Blue Star, Broken Star, and Crooked Star are on the Great Rock. They're arguing about whether or not to start the gathering, because Wind Clan is still not here. Yeah. So tardy. <laughs> so tardy. What a tardy tall star. For real, yeah. <laughs> Blue Star steps forward and she's like, It's true that Wing Clan is not present, but Broken Star wishes to speak anyway. And then we get Broken Star. He has orange eyes. Orange eyes burning, yeah. Guess who else has orange eyes? Yellow Fang. Yeah. Wow. The clues are really adding up. Yep, but he was interrupted. Oh, yeah, but what do you know? Yeah. Uh. So he takes a deep breath and begins. Friends, I come to speak to you tonight about the needs of Shadow Clan. <laughs> but he was interrupted by raised, impatient voices from below. Where is Tallstar? cried one. Where are the Wind Clan warriors? Yowled another. <laughs> Broken Star stretched up to his full height and lashed his tail from side to side. As the leader of Shadow Clan, it is my right to address you here, he growled in a voice full of menace. The crowd fell into an uneasy silence. All around him, Firepaw could smell the acrid tang of fear. Ew! There must be an imposter. One of the cats is secretly a monster. Yes, how could a cat be acrid? That's only for the Thunderpath and monster. Weird. Yeah. Uh, unorthodox use of that word. I kind of agree with Broken Star starting the meeting with that Wind Clan, though. Like, it's not his fault Wind Clan played. <laughs> oh, wait, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the needs of Shadow Clan are simple. In order to survive, we must increase our hunting territory. And that is why I insist that you allow Shadow Clan warriors to hunt in your territories. <laughs> what? That's like so unreasonable. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And how many cats does Shadow Clan even have? Yeah, like, is it really that much? And then people are like, big morug about it. Because why would you do that? Right? Should Shadow Clan be punished because our kits thrive? Yelled Broken Star from the Great Rock. Do you want us to watch our young starve? You must share what you have with us. Why not just, like, expand your territory in the other direction? Right? Have more swamp. Yeah. Like, it's not like it's an area of wilderness enclosed, surrounded by an urban area. Hmm. And then we get this. Wind Clan failed to understand this. In the end, we were forced to drive them out of their territory. Oh, Broken Star! <laughs> That's why Wind Clan isn't here. <laughs> <laughs> and now they have the territory of two clans, and they can't even feed themselves. Right, two clans. It's because they're too slow to catch a rabbit. Yeah. Which is totally a lie, because cats can catch rabbits. Yeah, even if they're born into Shadow Clan, they can catch rabbits. Yeah. So I don't understand how one clan can't feed itself on two territories. Mm-hmm. And, of course, all the cats are just outraged yeah. at this. So then finally everything dies down and Broke Star continues. Each year, the two legs spoil more of our territory. At least one clan must remain strong. If all the clans are to survive, Shadow Clan thrives while all you struggle. While you all struggle. And there may come a time when you will need us to protect you. This gets back to the whole idea of combining all the clans. Is that such a bad idea? It's really looking like not. If you can't get along, just be one clan. Damn. Oh my gosh. Then this happens. This is crazy. If you want to read it. <laughs> Crooked Star step forward. I have already agreed to allow Shadow Clan some hunting rights in the river that runs through our territory. He meowed quietly, gazing down on his clan. Horror and humiliation rippled through the River Clan cast at their leader's words. We were not consulted, 
cried a grizzled silver tabby. Yeah, this is crazy. Like, River Clan and Thunder Clan could obviously overpower Shadow Clan, right? Yeah. Just like, they should Especially be when their warriors are kittens. Yeah. <laughs> or their apprentices, I guess. Yeah. And then their warriors would be apprentice aged. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess, like, it doesn't really affect River Clan if Shadow Clan hunts in the river, right? I mean, there's still plenty of fish. Yeah. But still, matter of principle. Yeah. Yeah, Kruger Star says, there are plenty of fish in the river. It's better to share our prey than spill blood fighting over it. And that makes sense, but it's still not the right thing to do. Yeah. And like like the gri- grizzled silver tabby says, they were not even consulted. It doesn't sound like imagine. much of a democracy. Yeah. Like, when did Kruger Star make this decision? Just now? Before? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. Blue Star has not made such agreement with the Broken Star. And Grey Pump mutters, well, at least that's something. We'll show them we're not as soft as that yellow-bellied river clan. What kind of an insult is yellow-bellied? What does that even mean? Crooked Star's belly is yellow. That's the color of his belly. Do Mm -hmm. fish have yellow bellies? I wouldn't say yellow, no. I don't Uh, get it. Maybe it's like, you know how your rabbits sometimes, like, their back ends are yellow? You're saying that Crooked Star has urine stains on his belly? I don't know, it's just a theory. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, but then we get this big item, too, from Broken Star again. But I also bring news that it is, that is important to the safety of your kits. A Shadow Clan cat has turned rogue and spurned the warrior code. We chase her out of our camp, but we do not know where she is now. She looks a mangy old creature, but she <laughs> has a bite like Tiger Clan. Yeah. Fire pause for bristles. Could Broken Star possibly t- be talking about Yellow Fang? Yes, obviously. <laughs> yeah. She is dangerous. I warn you, do not offer shelter to her. And, Broken Star paused dramatically, until she is caught and killed, I urge you to keep a close eye on your kit. Well. Yeah. Quite the accusations. Mm hmm. Well, ThunderClan is pretty nervous now. Um, all the cats kind of go now, like they go back home. No, none of the other leaders even said anything. Yeah, like what about all the rest of the news in the forest? This was an only Shadow Clan gathering. Yep, no one wanted to hear the rest of the news after that. I guess not. How did they ever get anything done, though? Like, so many gatherings don't get to go as planned. (laughs) Yeah. Crazy. Horrible way to run a meeting. (laughs) Now, like, ThunderClan's, like, talking about it and stuff. Ravenpaw bounded over to Grape on Firepaw. What's gonna happen now? He wailed. His fur (laughs) fluffed up in alarm, his eyes wider than ever. (laughs) <laughs> I don't get why he's being such a scaredy cat. Uh, uh, like, he wails and his fur is fluffed up. Like, that's an overreaction. Calm down. Like, I know he, you know, understandably has issues um, caused by a tiger god. But, I yeah, I don't know why he's so scared about the yellow fang thing. Yeah. I don't know. If that is what he was talking about. And then Speckletail is like, well, she did snap a Golden Flower's youngest kit the other day. Her youngest kit? Yeah, what? what? <laughs> youngest by how many minutes? <laughs> or does Golden Flower really churn them out that fast? I mean, I don't know how long cat gestation is, but if a cat has to be half a year old, there could be more than one litter at once. That seems unlikely. I mean, maybe. And now all the cats are like, um, Mew and Morug and Wow. Riao Wow, actually. They're really like Riao Wow right now. <laughs> Riao Wow! <laughs> I think of Riao Wow as more happy than that. <laughs> I mean, they're very excited. Morug is, like, not very excited. Morug is the opposite of excited. <laughs> Riao Wow is very excited. Riao Wow is very excited. 
Yeah, I was very excited. I don't know. Paw is just disdainful. Paw. So before the rest of the clan goes back, Yellow, um, Firepaw bolts ahead because he wants to get there first before anything can happen to Yellow Pain. The end of chapter 12. Next is chapter 13. Firepaw runs back to camp before the rest of the gathering goers. He warns Yellow Fang to run away, but Yellow Fang stays to face judgment. Blue Star lets her stay in Thunder Clan. The real threat is Broken Star. Blue Star decides to visit the Moonstone, and she is going to bring Firepaw, Grewpaw, and Ravenpaw along. <laughs> we pick up just right where we left off here. He's made it back to the camp. He's at the edge of the ravine. <laughs> I love the ravine. <laughs> yeah, it's in a ravine. She goes into and speaks to Yellow Fang. She wasn't even sleeping. Why would oh because she was so worried about what Broken Star was gonna say at the gathering. Yeah, she knew something would happen. So Firepaw tells her what happened, and that Thunderclan believed Broken Star. And then like Firepaw asks Yellow Fang like if she would actually do that. Would I what? Would you harm our kid? Yellowfang flares her nostrils and looks steadily at him. Do you think so? No. Firepaw says. Yeah, Firepaw says no. <laughs> but the Yellowfang never actually answers. Hmm. But the noise of the other cats is coming nearer. So Firepaw is like, go! Her safety was more important than his curiosity. But Yellowfang remained where she was and stared at him. A calm look suddenly came into her wide eyes. Firepaw, you believe I'm innocent, and I'm grateful for that. If you believe me, then others might. And I know Blue Star will give me a fair hearing. I can't run forever. I'm too old. I shall stay here and face whatever your clan decides for me. She sighed and sank down onto her bony haunches. <laughs> a lovely paragraph. Oh, and then Firepaw's like, but what about Tarkla? What if he... And then the Yellowfang says... He is headstrong, and he knows the power he has over the other clan cats. They are in awe of him, but even he will obey Blue Star. Hmm, that did not age well. <laughs> now the tables have turned, and it says, Go away, Firepaw, hissed Yellowfang, baring her blackened teeth at him. Don't make trouble for yourself by being seen with me now. There's nothing you can do for me. Have faith in your leader, and let her decide what happens to me. But wouldn't all the cats who are coming know that a firepower ran ahead? Apparently not. I guess they just, like, didn't realize. No one missed him. Like, how not? <laughs> they weren't <laughs> looking for firepaw. Guess they got tunnel vision. Mm-hmm. Speaking of tunnels, through the gorse came the cats. <laughs> 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 They're all coming in. Tigerclaw and Darkstriver strode into the clearing, shoulder to shoulder, looking grim. <laughs> <laughs> like, Nothing bad happened to their kids yet, if the elephant's been there for ages. Uh, yeah. I just roll my eyes about their looking grim. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I guess none of them noticed that Firepaw. I mean, except for Greypaw and Ravenpaw. Yep. Yeah. Did anyone miss me, he says. Only us, replied Ravenpaw. But I just didn't count the heads before leaving. <laughs> yeah. Would, like, Tyrell and Darkstripe really not even notice? They have it out for Firepaw. Yeah, I feel like they're always watching. And now with all this commotion, all the other cats who are in the clan start to, like, wake up and wander over. What has happened? Called a tabby warrior named Running Wind. Is this the first mention of Running Wind? Definitely not. That would just be ridiculous. But it says called a tabby warrior named Ryan. Why did they introduce him? I don't know. Maybe it's actually the first. Maybe. And then people say the two things that happened at the gathering. And then meows of anger and distress rose from the crowd. But Blue Star leaps under the high rock. Silence! Ordered Blue Star. But then, so the cats settle in front of her. And a loud screech made every cat turn its head toward the fallen tree where the elders slept. Tigerclaw and Darkstripe were dragging Yellowfang roughly from her nest. 
She shrieked furiously as they hauled her into the clearing and dumped her in front of the high rock. Firefall felt every muscle in his body tense. Without thinking, he dropped him to a low crouch, ready to spring at Yellowfang's persecutor. But Greypaw stops him from attacking Tigerclaw and Darkstraight. Yes. <laughs> and then... Good on him. <laughs> What's going on? Demanded Blue Star, jumping down from the high rock and glaring at her warriors. I gave no order to attack her prisoner. And then Tigerclaw and Darkstraight instantly let go of Yellowfang, crashing into dust, hitting and spitting. Hissing and spitting! Hissing More and spitting! spitting. <laughs> 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 they really got told. They got told. I love when they get told. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Frostfur comes out from the nursery. We got back in time, she meowed with a gasp. The kids are safe. I can't <laughs> believe how stupid these guys are. Yellowfang's been there the whole time. <laughs> of course they are, snapped Blue Star. She's really displaying good leadership here. Yeah. So it's great. Good decision. But you are going to throw Yellowfang out, aren't you? Frostfur asked. Throw her out, spat Darkstripe. Spat again. Ugh. Unleashing his... Unleashing his claws. What? Unleashing? <laughs> <laughs> Unsheathing his claws, more like. Yeah. Guess unleashing makes sense. But anyways, we should kill her now. <laughs> Oh, that is like dark stripe. That's against the warrior code. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Even kids know that. But not dark stripe. Yeah, but like whenever dark stripe says something like this, nobody's like it's against the warrior code. Yeah, why don't they like say? Don't you know this? Yeah. Instead, Blue Star just says, "And what has she done?" You were at the gathering. Broken Star said she. Darkstripe began. Broken Star said only that there is a rogue somewhere in the woods. Meowed Blue Star, her voice menacingly quiet. He did not mention Yellowfang by name. The kids are safe. For as long as she is in my clan, Yellowfang will not be harmed in any way. Wow. Blue Star really knew what to say. Mm -hmm. Like, this whole thing about this is like, obviously the cat is Yellowfang. Right. But then, like, why is everybody going to believe Broken Star's side of the story? Right, especially because Broken Star is clearly the villain. Yeah, like, who would, like, just tr go along with that? Come Not on. ThunderClan's leader. No. But so many of the sheeple in ThunderClan. Uh, sheeple? They're kids! I know. <laughs> well, what? Sheep catch? That doesn't work, though. Um, what does work? Kitty sheep. Don't look at she's my cat. grooming Oh, she's licking her leg. <laughs> okay, okay. The elephant offers to leave if Blue Star wishes it, but Blue Star says there's no need. And then Blue Star changes the topic to the real threat of the clan, Broken Star. Yep. They're gonna keep preparing for battle, patrolling the borders more frequently. <laughs> <laughs> more frequently. They're patrolling them constantly. They're already <laughs> pa patrolling more frequently, and now they're patrolling even more frequently. That's just, just not too many patrols. Yeah, like how often? Are... They're already patrolling so fast that when one patrol gets back, another one goes out. That's I can't. That's way. That's so many. I guess there's gonna constantly be mul multiple patrols out. I wonder if they're patrolling just the Shadow Clan border more or all the borders more. Yeah. Um, so Blue Star makes it clear Thunder Clan is not going to give up any hunting rights, even though people are like, can we even defend ourselves against a Shadow Clan attack? But Blue Star's like, we must try if that happens. And it's still like one clan versus one clan. It's yeah. not like Shadow Clan's like that much more powerful. Yeah. And it's Thunder Clan, so they're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. Then Blue Star also announces that she's traveling to the Moonstone tomorrow. She needs some advice. Mm. From her warrior ancestor. Star Clan. And then she ends the meeting. What's the Moonstone, Firepaw asked Graypaw? It's a rock deep underground that shines in the dark, which is very weird. I cannot wait. I love the moonstone. And the mother mouth. 
Ew! Why they called that? <laughs> yeah, yucky. <laughs> so what happened? Mewed Dustpot eagerly, popping his head out of the den. Did he not notice all the commotion? He's been in the apprentice's den while this entire ga- <laughs> this entire clan meeting was going on. He must be a deep sleeper. He must be. Oh, but then it's like Longtail said. Brokers are demand hunting rights. Grandpa began. Well, I guess he did. So they did say. hear the clan meeting, but they thought there was more to the story. Mm, there's not more to the story. How? But <laughs> there's not more to the story. Thanks for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Now we have some... Ooh, yeah. Horrible. So Sandpaw and Deathpaw are listening to Graypaw, but Firepaw notices um, a couple things. Blue Star and Lightheart are talking together outside of her den urgently, and then there's this. Then he noticed the small shape of Ravenpaw at the entrance to the warrior's den. Tigerclaw stood beside him. Firepaw saw Ravenpaw's ears flatten as the young cat Lynched away from Tiger Claw's fierce words. The dark warrior loomed over him, twice his size, his eyes and teeth flashing in the moonlight. What was he saying to Ravenpaw? Firepaw was just about to creep near and listen when Ravenpaw backed away, turned, and ran across the clearing. Ugh. Abuse alert. Yep. Ravenpaw just rushes away past Firepaw into the den without a word. Then he wants to follow, but then Lionheart is approaching, and he tells them that Blue Star wishes her Graypaw, Firepaw, and Ravenpaw to go with her to the Moonstone. Hooray! Also, Lionheart didn't miss the look of disappointment on the faces of Dustpaw and Sandpaw, who are older than them. I, oh, it's so unfair. It's so unfair. I can't, ugh, it must feel awful to be Dustpaw and Sandpaw. Yeah. This is how you get, like, cats going extremist and, like, buying into, like, Tiger Claw ideology. <laughs> and, like, Dark Forest ideology. When just horrible things, like, not fair things happen. Yeah, like favoritism. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> so, they need to rest, but... Also, like, it must be, like, the middle of the night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they're going tomorrow, right? Yeah. That's not enough time to sleep. Yeah. But then Lionheart instructs them to go to Spotted Leaf and collect the herbs you'll need for this expedition. What herbs? You need herbs? Yeah, special herbs. Special. You must, you better go and see Spotted Leaf. Firepaw listened for sourness in her voice, but there was none. So why is Sandpaw suddenly not mean? I guess because, like, she's getting to know them, I don't know, developing a crush. That's what's happening. I can definitely support that shit a lot more than the other one with fire. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the spotted. other main one. with. Although, who actually ships them? The spotted? Spotted leaf and fire paw. I don't, people don't like that. Yeah, nobody likes that, right? People ship fire x sand. That's how you say it. Hmm. What else is fire paw? Ship with Firepaw and Longtail. <laughs> In Two Legs Talk Warriors podcast. Yes, shout out to Two Legs Talk Warriors. Release another episode immediately. Yeah, it's been like ages. we've been waiting. <laughs> uh, but I actually, that's a pretty good ship. Longtail's great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know, Spotted Leaf. Yeah. Um, so then Firepaw and Graypaw. So both of them this time, not just Firepaw. I like that. Yeah, it's good that Graypaw's going on as a chaperone. (laughs) Yeah, so things don't get too wild when they're Firepaw and Spotted Leaf are alone. (laughs) You have come for some traveling herbs, Spotted Leaf Mia. Herbs. Oh, traveling (laughs) herbs. Yes, please, Firepaw answered. And I think Yellow Fang needs more poppy seeds. She seemed to be feeling her wounds. Ooh, shall we? Yeah. Spotted Leaf indicated a pile of carefully made leaf wraps. <laughs> Enough for the three of you. The dark green er- herb will stop your hunger pangs during the journey. The other will give you strength. Eat them both just before you leave. They're not as good as fresh prey, but the taste won't last long. Yeah, this is not very realistic. 
you just eat herbs to keep up your energy? I mean, it's still food, I guess. I guess, yeah. How big are these leaf wraps? Why can't you just eat a mouse and then go? And then, like, catch something in Barley's farm? <laughs> yeah, it isn't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand the traveling herbs. Maybe they work better than prey. The yeah. leaves. Maybe the leaves are more filling. Mm. I don't believe it. But, like, it stops, it stops your hunger pangs during the journey. You know what else stops your hunger pangs? Eating! Eating. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to the apprentice's den. Oh, yeah, Mother Mouth. Great pause. Um, expositioning a bit about the journey and where they're going. But, yeah, every apprentice has to make that journey before they become warriors. That's a tradition I wish had stayed in the later books. Oh, it doesn't? They don't do that. It's really annoying. And then, like, nobody's allowed to go to the moon pool except for medicine cat. It's so weird. Oh, share the wealth. Right? Like, that's just so elitist. Yeah. <laughs> then the final paragraph. Firepaw looked up at the canopy. No. Firepaw looked up through the canopy of leaves at the stars glittering in the black sky above. Moon high had passed. We should get some sleep, he mewed. But he couldn't imagine being able to sleep, the thought of tomorrow's adventure spinning through his mind. Tending the gathering, a journey to the moonstone, how far away his kitty pet's life seems now. Indeed. Yeah. Even further than the last time you said that. Which was like three <laughs> chapters ago at the end of the chapter. Well, three chapters, I mean, that's like... I don't know how many. It was recent. But that's longer than earlier. And it's only going to get even further away from him. Except Probably. for when there's a oh, no. princess. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Princess is a great name for a kitty pet. Yeah, that's a great name. If Misty didn't already have a name, I would call her Princess. Oh yeah. Also, I think she looks like Princess is supposed to look like. Oh. Anything else to say? Nope. But I didn't have much to say at all. Hmm. No, you didn't. Well, you because you keep making your notes like last minute. Because you made your notes first too, so like a lot of things I would have also made notes of, but you already made notes of. Yeah, I did my notes like two weeks ago. I think. Oh. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, nothing left to say except for goodbye. 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 <laughs>